Good day folks, welcome back to another time video. Uh, I've had a few requests for this one. Uh, so we're gonna do up some uh, heavyweight Mighty Mites. And these are the two-tone versions. And they get the two-tone from this little bead we're using here. This is a little glass bead that uh, is a dark brown and white color. So you can kind of see there, works pretty good to uh, represent gills and uh, um, the wing pads of a chronomid. And we're tying on a size 16 scud hook. So tiny little hook. Um, and I've got some black UTC tying thread. Um, first thing I'm going to tie in is some small red ultra wire. And then I'm going to follow that up with a, this is a gray ultra wire. So this is kind of a silver gray uh, pattern, but I tie them in all kinds of colors. Um, the limey version, you can use chartreuse with red wire. You can use silver wire to create kind of a chromey uh, with a black rib or a red rib, whatever you prefer. But mixing up the colors is your choice. Um, so here I'm just going to take the gray wire. I've got them both tied in at the same time there. And just wind this up nice and tight. Side by side wraps all the way up. <clears throat> Looks tedious, but it's not always easy keeping a tiny little fly down in the zone. And so if you can add weight to it, it helps. And that's why these have the heavyweight name behind them. You can, uh, I've got a few that I tie with a tungsten bead, just a black or brown, whatever your preference, tungsten. Um, and then I'll put a dab of white um, colored UV resin just on top of the bead, just up here to represent the gills. And you can always tie in the conventional gills as well. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna continue to wrap this gray wire right up to just about the bead. I'm gonna leave myself a little bit of a gap in behind. So kind of like that, about a half a half a bead length gap there. And I'll just get the gray wire tied off and helicoptered out of there. Now I'm gonna take the red wire and I'm just gonna counter wrap this red wire and just rib the body. So just like so, I'll get the red tied off and helicoptered out. <clears throat> and then this isn't crucial, but just before I do the last step, I try to line the bead up so the the uh, white is kind of sticking out to the side. And uh, now this next step, you can use like a peacock ice dub or something like that if you want. Um, I'm just going to use good old natural peacock curl. Stuff is kind of a fish magnet, so works good as the thorax. I'll just put a few wraps in there and then make sure that's tied off nice and secure in behind that bead. If you just pull down on your thread, give that hurl a tug, it'll snap right off. And then you can come in with a whip finisher, throw a few turns in there. Usually I'll put some crazy glue on my thread before I whip finish. It'll lock everything in nicely. Snip that out, and there you have it. That is the heavyweight uh, Mighty Mite in the two-tone version. Super sweet little pattern, nice and shiny, super, super durable. That thing will fish and fish and fish. So give that a tie, fish it, let us know how it works for you, 
and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. So thanks very much for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And until the next one, cheers and tight lines.